to our last story for the day. Now, make no mistake about it. The Buhari administration can safely pride itself on scoring high on infrastructure development. But it beggars a lot of belief and conviction when it is assumed that the APC government had achieved what the U.S. authorities were trying to do in terms of infrastructure. Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashola had on Thursday ruffled feathers somewhat when his statement was taken out of context. Uh, Mr. Fashola has explained what he meant by stating that for six years, President Buhari's government had been doing what the U.S. government was still trying to do. The U.S. government has still to pass the infrastructure bill. Uh, so in politics, we are asking, language should be a subject taught for politicians. So whatever you say is not taken out of context, so you don't come back to say, I was quoted out of context. Yes, of course, in the first place, there was no basis for the comparison. Absolutely no basis for the comparison. We are talking about infrastructure. You are talking about a different thing. Hmm. America spent itself out of recession during the Obama era. And it was infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. infrastructure yeah. Obama boasted that, look, we will spend ourselves out of recession. And that was exactly what they did. But there is a bill now that they are still contending over. They are still battling over. They are going to fix that. But the nature of their own their legislature is that everything you have to subject it to extensive debate you yeah. have to go around you know even some members of your party may not necessarily support mm. an idea from the executive so this is what we are seeing there's no reason in the world when i read that thing I, i'm like what nigeria about to compare itself to the u.s the u.s is bigger than the entire west africa what are we, even if we are talking about infrastructure, where are we in infrastructure? There are countries on this continent far ahead of us in infrastructure. Look at South Africa, for example. We can't compare ourselves to South Africa in infrastructure. I know that at least I've been there a number of times. Not to talk of the U.S. 30 states out of 50 in the U.S. have refineries. <laughs> Texas Oh, they have, how many refineries do we have in Nigeria? Let's not even talk about network of roads. Look at, I was uh, uh, doing a bit of research, and I discovered that America has 19,622 airports. How many airports are in Nigeria? 22, are they up to 30? 22, 23. They are not up to 30. There are even states without airports. 19,622 airports in the U.S. alone. It's like a continent. Mm. There's no basis, even if we are arguing, mm. you know, we're just talking, we, there's no reason to bring this up. The, the point that he wanted to make was, oh, America is still debating over uh, infrastructure bill. But it's not as if it has stopped them from working. Yeah. Mm. Every government will come with its own Bill Obama came with Obamacare. It was resisted. So it is their own nature to always argue over these things extensively. And at the end of the day, they will come to a meeting point. You yeah. have to work for it. You have to lobby. You have to work for it. The, the legislation in the U.S. is not rubber stamp. Mm -mm. Whereby, oh, somebody will call uh, the Senate president and say, look, this is what we want. And since it is what we want, uh, you must do it. Or we are a Senate president who say whatever the president wants, we'll we will do. It. No, they don't do that in America. Mm. You have to talk to the people, convince them that this infrastructure bill that you have presented is the best. But you see, you, you, according to him, they took what he said out of yeah, context yeah, and twisted yeah. it. That is the but nature. Uh, I think, mayor, I think language, I think, language no, is key. I think I, want, I think I want to explain something. I think I understand what the minister is saying. He's not comparing infrastructure in Nigeria with that of the U.S., no. What he's saying is that this government, in fact, that's the only thing this government has achieved. This government has spent so much on infrastructure. Whereas in the U.S., at the beginning of the Biden administration, it was accepted that there is need to invest more in infrastructure, especially bridges. A lot of bridges in America 
were seen to be dilapidated, some were falling off and all that. So it was generally agreed that they should spend money on infrastructure. So they came up with the infrastructure bill. The, the, the opposition party felt that the budget for that infrastructure party was too big and that they should try to turn it down, which they did. They've agreed on it now. But what he's saying is that everybody has everybody accepted the need to spend money on infrastructure. Yeah. That we will be able to do that. That the US, who agreed that they should spend money on infrastructure, are uh, yet to do may, that may because they are language, not able to pass Language bill. is key. Yes, I agree. What, I what agree. you say is, is key. I so agree. Agree. Well, when did Joe Biden even take office? And that's what I'm saying that is exactly. what he's saying is that oh they are still working on their infrastructure that mm. they saw the need to spend money on infrastructure but they are yet to do so and that this government has so say, say so shouldn't have it shouldn't have yes it shouldn't have made that comparison uh, but he didn't present it properly but it's not as if he's comparing infrastructure here you know I mean it would be unbelievable for even the state of California mm -hmm. the state of California even it's, it's much much bigger than Nigeria yeah, uh, yeah. even the even the, the New York and, so even the New York Fire itself. Service, mm -hmm. their budget is way more than that yeah. of Nigeria. So it's not as if you will compare uh, California. Uh, you don't have say ten refineries. That's what I'm saying. So How many it's not as if it's comparing <laughs> comparing infrastructure in Nigeria. What he's saying is that America and Nigeria saw the need but to. Even the debate, even the debate was over that, to the only you. it's just a face. They are not going to, you are not simply going to walk up to the national and say, oh, yeah, pass this thing for me. That's not how no, democracy no, no. works. They have to yeah, subject it to extensive our own, debate. Our own is still developing. You cannot compare a democracy that we started where in 1960. Try and compare it with America that has been over... Mayor, oh, sometimes it is not so, how long, it is how well. No, no, yes, we have to do that. because We will, we will get to that because that's what I'm saying, that the yeah. Congress in America is independent, that the president cannot get things done. Even yes. things that are right. Yeah. If they mm -hmm. don't, if they, are, they if believe they are that it's not in their interest, mm -hmm. they will say, I'm not going to do that. Even members of the party, the other, the, the, the federal person that they should have done in, in, in the Senate, in American Senate since, is because one particular senator is, is, is going rogue. And if the senator, they have to have the entire, all the, all members of the party must support it. And if one person says, no, I'm not going to support it, you cannot tell him. You can only appeal to him and try to negotiate and make deals yeah, and all that. Yeah. When, um, when Trump wanted, Niger wanted to sell weapons to Nigeria, the same Trump that people hate, some Nigerians can <laughs> kill him. When he wanted to sell weapons to Nigeria, Trump he, had to look, he had because to look. guy. Yes, I, for yes. sending to Kano to Nigeria, I will keep praying for him. Yes, that's true. That's I true. will keep praying for because him. Obama was a he, black invited, man. he invited our president to the U.S. and told him, I'm going to sell, I'm going to assist you in the war against terror. Yes, he did. did Obama ever say that to us? That. And I'm going to sell weapons to us, to you. He yeah. knew that the Leahy law had been used to stop America from selling yeah. weapons yeah. to yeah. us. Yeah. And it's the lawmakers who are against selling to us. They are the ones who signed the Leahy law. Yeah. He had to lobby some lawmakers actually the uh, uh, republican hard line, hard republican uh, lawmakers he had yeah. to lobby them people like uh, senator mccain began Let, to work so. for nigeria you know that was how we were able to get the the to to, to, to jets yeah that are already dealing with these guys now the caliphate the huh? the huh? ISO okay. caliphate in good has we, been destroyed we, thanks we, to we, what we, we, ma so to us. We, we must begin. We must begin the call. Um, okay. Uh, I hear we have a caller. We have a call from Ebony State. Let's uh, take it on. Good evening. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. We are fine. Good. Uh, Let's go. Easy from Bayansa. All right then. Uh, Baba Jide, good evening. Good evening, my brother. Go on, go on. Uh, today's topic was quite interesting. Thank you, Covers sir. a lot of areas. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, the issues that are raised are very germane. Like uh, the issue of the woman who killed her husband is very sad. It I is. Tell you how our belief system has come down so low. The religious fathers are not doing their job. That is mm. why we have come this mm. level. Love and relationship and marriage have been cut to the direct level. <laughs> so it's so sad. Back to the issue of the election in the kitty. You can see that uh, the party have to work very hard. 
Because don't forget, eight of the aspirants now who conducted that election, on one side, they are so aggrieved with the candidate that won the election. And if proper mending is not done, what is clear is that they are going to work against the party. Yeah. And there is going to be a sad day. So I want to believe that the party should wake up and Thank begin you. to harmonize the figures and ensure that uh, they put the right things that are men defensive. Because okay. don't forget that those aspirants, some of them are senators. Yeah. About two of them are senators, the House of West members. Mm -hmm. They cover their areas. They have been there for two terms. They have last th 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 Thank you. Th th thank you. Going. Thank you, brother. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. It's well, sense. Uh, no, no. I, I want sense. to thank you um, for your um, wonderful contribution. Yeah, for your uh, the point raised. You know, but then let's talk. I, I, I we because time is rather tight. Let politi politicians understand the dynamics of language when they make yes, a, yeah, yes. when, when, a very when valid they, point yes very yeah. valid point well yeah. there's no basis for comparison there's no don't need, just no go need straight and yeah. your, your speech must not be ambiguous just yes. say mm -hmm. it and leave the interpretation to us okay then uh, that will just about do it for today and on sunday there's an expanded edition from 1 30 to 3 30 for the show we are on youtube at youtube.com forward slash tvc news nigeria i am citizen jones Bye-bye now. Take care of yourself.